A failover plan that includes three VMs has just completed. Starting the VMs at the disaster recovery location. What next actions are available for those three VMs right now? Okay. So when you start a failover plan, the VM is going to be in the failover state, right? That's a temporary state that you want to exit. But what options do we have? Let's see, cancel failover. That's not an option. Reverse replications, also not an option. Permanent failover, however, is, which means uh, it, it's out of this temporary state, uh, it gets excluded from the replication job, and it's now kind of living on that uh, DR side. But these first two options uh, don't exist, so this is this is a distractor answer here. Undo failover, that's an option. Then it goes back to the normal state. It's, it's, it's ready to be, once again, triggered. Reverse replication is not a option, so that's, that's wrong. Permanent failover is good. Cancel failover again, that, that's not an option that actually exists. Fail back, uh, yes, that exists. So then, then we start replicating in the opposite direction so that we get all of the changes back. And then permanent failover, which is good. Here we have a combination of the above, undo failover, fail back, and permanent failover. So I'm going to go with the last option here, undo failover, fail back, and permanent failover.